in the midst of darkness, we learn compassion. The prophets, the saints, the holy ones, all have borne the burden of weighty love, even some like Jonah, in a moment reluctantly with doubt of their capacity to enliven the mandate from the beloved, the source of life. In this human life yearning, turning within, even deeper into the darkness, we discover the light burning bright and the waters of mercy gushing and the tender green plants that have the ability to spring forth. As Rumi puts it, the water of life is in the land of darkness. And Shams of Tabriz reminds us of a saying of the Prophet Muhammad, don't see me as superior to Jonah because he lived his ascension, his mirage, deep in the sea, within the darkness of the belly of the fish, while I made my mirage beyond the seven heavens. To consider truth as bound to heights or depths is to assume that truth could be limited by location. Our longing propels us and within the poem we share, the word God might be heard as Allah, as that one beyond all description, and yet so intimate within our hearts, supporting and sustaining us when we turn in recognition of our need for sustenance from the source of all sustenance, of beauty, of wisdom, of strength. That you that reflects through every face, as it's said in the Quran, wherever you turn, there is the face of God. And our hearts are broken and broken and broken again until what remains is the beloved. And that is what we see sparkling everywhere. <laughs>